JF Stretford Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford where you may have guessed it's barbecue weather. Yes, it absolutely. Well, I won't say pouring down, it's spitting. Get them in, it's spitting. Uh, most of the stories this morning centre on your favourite topic, Donny van der Beek. Uh, there's also a story about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's future, obviously, and a little bit of team news ahead of Manchester United's game against Atalanta. So, should we start with the Donny van der Beek one? Should we get out of the way? We've not spoken about him for about, you know, 12 minutes. Um, Donny van der Beek, apparently, according to reports coming out of Spain that have been picked up in the British media, um, he could be heading to Barcelona on loan in January. I think it's a, a, a website, or I know it's a website called Sport. Um, he's picked up on this and uh, it's been covered elsewhere as well. Saying that Barcelona are interested in Donny van der Beek, they want him, and it looks like a loan move in January would be the best option all round for everyone. Now, I've said this millions of times, or it feels like millions of times on the channel, I don't think a player has been who's played as few games as Donny van der Beek for Manchester United has been spoken about as much in the history of his club. But he's, he's debated about, he's spoken about, numerous stories about him. There's, it seems like every day there's something else. He's obviously got a strong sort of following. Um, some would argue it's a cult following. I don't know if that's a, the right term. Um, amongst the Manchester United fans who look at him as the answer, look at him as someone who should be given, given more games. Then there's another school of thought that he's just not up to scratch. My personal opinion is, and I've said this again lots of times, but I'll say it again. I haven't seen a lot of him, sort of bit of him at Ajax, not enough to make a judgment call. Obviously, when we got him, I thought, OK, he's going to get some game time. Didn't really happen, but I would say that when he has played for Manchester United, I think he's done OK. I've not seen anything personally from his Manchester United appearances that makes me think he's, he's the answer to our problems. And it seems like he's better in as a, as a sort of a, a 10 uh, which is arguably one of our strongest positions on the pitch in terms of players that can play there. So you could have said he's not had enough chances, but I think there's a counter-argument to that, that when he has been given chances, you know, he started games against Watford, against Leicester twice. He's done OK with that. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. It looks like whatever, whether you rate Donny van der Beek or not, the fact he's only going to Solskjaer doesn't seem to really fancy him. So perhaps a low move to a club like Barcelona, who are struggling. They've just sacked the manager, Ronald Koeman, because they're not exactly... A, you know, a vintage Barcelona team, but it's still one of the biggest clubs in the world. A move there may do him the world of good, uh, especially with the uh, World Cup on the horizon and him wanting to get into that Dutch team. Probably going to Solskjaer. David Ornstein, I think, was on NBC doing a, an interview, and he said that Manchester United are actually reluctant to sack uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I think are desperate to get through to the summer with him as the manager. Now, I think he called it a roller coaster. if this roller coaster continues. His, his position, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's position, isn't, you know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that he could be sacked. It's like, if, you know, if results go against him or if he has another humiliation, who knows, against City, if we have a, a humiliation against City, because I'd say we're all in this together, then maybe he could get sacked. I'm not saying Ornstein was saying if we lose to City, he's going to get sacked. My point is, if we have a bad run of games, then Oli could lose his job, but United and Ed Woodward and the board want to keep him in this job, at least till the summer. So if results are okay, if results are good, then he can keep his job. We'll just have to wait and see what happens results-wise. We maybe stood here, you know, after the, the City game, talking about Ligon Solskjaer, you know, being under fire. We may be looking at another defeat or we may be talking about how he's turned things around. Who knows? We'll wait and see. Got some big games this week, Atalanta away and also, obviously, the Derby, the Manchester Derby. He's got a good record in the Manchester Derby, but... You know, times are a bit different out of this one around. He's really up against it. I know he's been there before where he's been up against it going into a derby, but this is probably the most pressure he's been under going into a game against Pep Guardiola. Um, just on the Atalanta game, early team news or early squad news indicates it's only Anthony Martial, who's a slight doubt from what I've read. Um, we've not got the squad news yet, but we'll have it. And as soon as we get it, we'll share it on social media uh, and give you an update. And we'll also be previewing that game. We're looking ahead to, obviously... The Derby as well. We'll have all your good stuff that you want this week. We'll have the uh, the the podcast, the previews, the watch-alongs. So make sure you're checking all that out. If you're not doing, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We're over 614,000 subscribers. I want to get to 700,000 by the end of the season. And with your help, we can do it. Yes, we can. This is Jay Motty outside a very wet and windy Old Trafford. Thanks for watching.